Coca-Cola Classic. All right, get ready for a collaboration. Coca-Cola Classic, trying to figure out the secret recipe. We got Neptunium. Lab Coats, bringing it all together, organizing it. Let's talk about this. Let's get to the bottom of it. He's going to fly. All right, we're making our way through the quenchers method here. We got the Coca-Cola regular. You can see after quenchers, you get this nice, clear layer you're after on top for both samples. We're going to pull about 200 microliters of that layer dilute it out into ethyl acetate to further dry it, and then use the final drying salts to get it ready for the GC. All right, so this is the Quenchers Prepared Coca-Cola GC Thermotrace. We got the data here, but you know, see my biggest problem, I guess I need to get cleaner ethyl acetate or something. There is that, I mean, the signal to noise is way different, but that's the whopping caffeine. You can see lots of caffeine. And then we got all these flavors, but you gotta watch out because I got, man, it's pretty dirty, but this is this like terpene blob that contains most of the flavors. And then I can sort a few more out of here. Um, I'll just go ahead and do that and make a list. The list, here's a problem I'm dealing with. 74% of the total signal I'm seeing is alpha terpenol. It seems like maybe there's different isomers. I don't know why I'm seeing multiple peaks. Maybe I'm not getting as good of an idea as I could because of um, the intensity of them, but basically 74% alpha terpenol um, forms, essentially. Then the rest, 13%, is this terpene for all. These kind of nondescript flavors and nondescript sourcing. So they're a very difficult uh, thing to just kind of buy these mixtures. Uh, and then we have uh, the next one is beta terpenol. Again, same kind of thing. So then we get into something, uh, this is kind of interesting, we have endoborneol, a really small amount, 2%. This again has different enantiomers uh, found in various plants, bitter, cool taste, uh, minty, camphor-like, okay. Um, it's just such nondescript flavors, I mean that's kind of Coca-Cola in itself, it's like tastes like Coca-Cola. Uh, eucalyptols, of course eucalyptus, lem limiting but very small amounts of lemon flavor. And then probably the coolest molecule I'll find is uh, sylvesterine. Um, and then I don't know like what's the the best source of sylvesterine. Let's see. Um, looks like it's kind of like maybe a it's like a ginger, citrus maybe. I don't know. That's it's a weird one. Like anyways, I'm seeing a very nondescript. And then the last one is this isopugalol. Um, we've seen this before. It's almost another kind of weird, strange cooling agent. Um, it's got this minty cooling effect. So again, uh, Coca-Cola continues to be a challenge. Uh, lots of things that are very hard to source, probably coming from plants, extracts, uh, GC data. Man, I hope uh, Neptunium can do better than me. Included it in water, right on. Ziva Q Tof, Coca. All right, here's the LCMS data. Bottom on the right here, that's the full TIC uh, of the Coca-Cola. You can see all that caffeine. Uh, I have a lot of stuff in my blank. My poor C18 column is not looking good. Uh, but then you can see there's this cluster of peaks uh, right around six minutes. I've done an EIC of this 339 mass, and you can see that kind of eludes out in a cluster. So I'm, anytime I see, instead of just like one big sharp peak, I see a bunch of small peaks. I think natural product. Uh, just plants, that's how plants make things. Uh, and then when we search this, we can see we're getting kind of a mixture. It could be a bunch of different things, but uh, the, the cool thing is it's this menthol or linolol or terpenyl glucoside. So this is the first time I'm seeing uh, these sugar conjugated terpene flavors. So it's a smell with a sugar stuck to it. I'm gonna call these pre-flavors. Basically your mouth, since it has amylase, will release the terpene smells and flavors in your mouth when you actually drink it. And so um, Coca-Cola is doing something fancy. They got these pre-flavors. Um, I don't even know if I can find these things. Cool stuff.